A local couple is making a difference for other families who are dealing with pregnancy and loss. Health anchor Liz Bonus joins us now to explain how. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. They are doing this at Mercy Health Anderson Hospital with what's called a cuddle cot. Now these are used in something we don't talk about much, a stillbirth. We have more today from the parents of baby Shane who are now raising funds to provide these cuddle cots for other families. I asked them to tell me about Shane's birth. He was born at 39 weeks. Um, and it was obviously a surprise. It had been a very healthy pregnancy so far, and we went in for um, a regular appointment on a Wednesday, heard his heartbeat on a Thursday. Um, we realized it wasn't moving much and went straight to get checked out and discovered that his heart wasn't beating. As Shane's parents, Lear and Megan McCoy, shared with us preparing for our Sunday morning 6 a.m. show, What's Happening in Health, you are never prepared to lose a baby at birth. So they now have raised funds to present others grieving a loss with these at birth. They are called cuddle cots. Um, the cuddle cot works by um, water flowing through and keeping the infant cool. And I wanted to show people, so this is sort of a, a bathtub almost. Right, or a it's tub. a little bassinet yeah. um, lined. It has a lined mattress and then it has almost like a water bed mattress type thing. It, it gets hooked up to a machine that is filled with water. The water flows through and it keeps your infant cool. Um, and what happens is that decreases or slows down the natural change that the infant goes through, you know, after a stillbirth. So you've hmm. got to love a mom and dad that will talk about something no one will talk yeah. about, number one. That's why we were doing that. The box that they have has like a blanket and things just to let you know you're not alone, which yeah. is why they do that. And then they're also raising funds. You get one of those at each hospital, and then each person gets sort of their own uh, kind of kit. Oh. And they're now raising them to have them at all the hospitals. So wow. at least it would be available, and you knew that. Yeah. Yeah. We had a stillborn, I had a stillborn niece. And, you know, you deliver a baby full term, and no one says a word. If you right. have a happy baby, they're yeah. okay. So I give them them so much credit for just raising awareness of that. We're going to have more Sunday morning, 6 a.m. So many people are affected. Yep. Yeah. It is really true, yeah. and it happens more frequently than we thought. Absolutely. We does. just don't talk yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Back